Find what you need faster in the realm of gigantic machines. These are not just machines. They're monumental marvels, incredible, amazing, and stupendous. You have to see them to believe them. I say it, it's beyond imagination. It is beyond imagination. The typical reaction is, oh my gosh, I never knew how big it was. You say it's the biggest big street on the planet. There's just nothing like it anywhere uh, on the, in the world. We could suck all the air out of Madison Square Garden in about two minutes. Welcome to a journey through the world of extreme machines, those titanic forces of engineering that lay claim to records in size, power, and capability. From awe-inspiring aircraft to gigantic excavators, we'll explore the marvels of modern technology. Join us as we delve into the world of the world's biggest machines. Ever since the Wright brothers' first flight, our quest to thrust more payload into the sky has been relentless. From Howard Hughes's Spruce Goose to today's Boeing 747, the quest for size and power never ceases. The Antonov 225, the world's largest airplane, is a marvel of aeronautics. Its size is staggering. Almost a football field in length and a wingspan of 291 feet. Designed originally by the Soviets, it now serves as a supercargo carrier. Many of the numbers you use to describe the AN-225 come under the heading of superlatives. Uh, for instance, it was the first aircraft to fly that took off at a gross weight of greater than one million pounds. Innovation is key in these engineering marvels. The Antonov's 32-wheel steerable landing gear and split-tail design are just a few examples of its extraordinary features. In addition to the nose wheel, section being maneuverable. The rear parts of the main landing gear are also steerable. The main landing gear consists of, on each side, seven units of twin wheel assemblies. The last four on each side are steerable. And having the last four trucks, as we call them, of the main landing gear assembly steerable on the aircraft makes it able to be turned in a relatively small turning radius so that you don't have to build massively large taxiways and parking aprons for this very large aircraft. Let's shift our attention to the skies where these giants are not just limited to carrying loads, but also breaking records in jet engine technology. Electric's GE90 115B, the world's most powerful jet engine, is a testament to human ingenuity. With its 128-inch diameter fan and groundbreaking design, it's reshaping the future of aviation. We've broken the world's record twice for demonstrated thrust, most recently demonstrating 127,900 pounds of thrust. Uh, that's equivalent to over 100,000 horsepower. They're, they're pretty much awestruck. A lot of them really just are kind of silent and just, you know, big eyes and this look on their face. It's just almost incredible to see. It's so much larger than any other engine they've ever seen before. The Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion the largest helicopter in the Western world, is a marvel of aviation technology. With its incredible lifting capacity, it serves as a crucial asset to the United States Marines. The CH-53 Echo was originally designed to carry 32,000 pounds at 100 knots indicated airspeed for 100 nautical miles, hover on station for five minutes, and then make a return flight home. Most normal helicopters in the inventory today carry four or five main rotor blades. Ours carry seven, which helps provide that additional lift due to our size and capabilities.
On the rails, the legacy of mammoth locomotives continues. From steam-powered giants like Union Pacific's Big Boy to modern marvels like the GE AC6000, the evolution of muscle on rails is astonishing. Oh, the Big Boy was 132 feet 9 inches from coupler to coupler. It's about 16 feet 2 inches tall, about 10 feet, uh, close to 11 feet wide. It weighed uh, 1.2 million pounds, which is 600 tons, when it was fully loaded with coal and water ready for the road. The ground would literally shake when a big boy rolled by, so they were very impressive machines to watch. The uh, big boy produced in excess of 6,000 horsepower, and this was an exceptional amount of horsepower for the time, particularly for a steam engine. The speed of this locomotive was governed by the amount of tonnage that was tied onto the back end, but it could do in excess of 80 miles an hour. The seas, covering over two-thirds of our planet, are home to another class of titans. From military vessels to oil tankers, these ships are redefining the boundaries of size and innovation. Blue Marlin is indeed the largest heavy lift ship uh, in the world uh, by a considerable margin. Uh, she's 737 feet long overall and 206 feet wide. The hole in the side of the coal was uh, very big and uh, made the vessel unseaworthy. So basically the challenge in loading the USS Coal was not so much the weight of the ship because a destroyer like that weighs about uh, 8,500 tons, which for the Blue Marlin is a relatively insignificant amount of weight. The challenge really was more how do you put a long, narrow body like the coal onto the top of our ship and stabilize it so that it doesn't tip over. On land, the realm of earth-moving machines presents us with giants like the bucket wheel excavators and the RH-400 hydraulic shovel. Their capabilities in mining and construction are unparalleled. You have the large digging wheel at the front, which is 71 feet in diameter. It is connected to a large boom, which then connects to the central tower. The central tower has a conveyor bridge, which extends from the back end of that, and then that is hooked to what is referred to as a discharge unit. The discharge unit carries the material onto large overland conveyors. It works best in loose, sandy material. The digging wheel and its multi-buckets is not designed for digging through solid rock or glacier-type boulders. It needs looser, more gravelly-type material to dig through efficiently. The RH-400 is the world's largest front shovel. 57 cubic yard bucket, 4,400 horsepower, 1,100 tons operating. It is simply huge. There has never been another hydraulic excavator like the RH-400. In the world of publishing, the power of the press takes on a literal meaning. Modern printing presses, spanning acres and capable of printing millions of pages, are marvels of efficiency and speed.
Everything on the press can be controlled from this location. As the web passes through the press, there are sensors that tell us what the tension is of the paper. The better the tension and the more accurate we run the tension, the better the reproduction as the paper goes through the press. Now the gripper conveyor is like a series of hands that have fingers on it that pick up each paper individually and then take those papers to our mailroom department or our packaging department. In our packaging department, we would take those papers, we'd drop them off and put them into another infeed conveyor where they go into a stacker where stacks of newspapers are created. We put a tie around those papers, then they get sent out to our distribution center. In entertainment, the colossal LED screens, like the Viva Vision in Las Vegas, offer a spectacle of light and technology, showcasing how far we've come in the world of visual displays. It's uh, close to five football fields long. It's uh, 1,500 feet in length. It's 90 feet up in the sky. There's over 12 million lights on the canopy. It's supported by 550,000 watts of sound. So when we say it's the biggest big screen on the planet, there's just nothing like it anywhere uh, on, in the world. Our journey through the world of the biggest machines comes to a close, leaving us in awe of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. These machines are not just feats of engineering. They are symbols of our never-ending quest to reach higher, dig deeper, and go bigger. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history on the World History Channel. We hope you've enjoyed exploring the fascinating stories and events that have shaped our world. So remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And together, let's keep exploring the captivating stories of our world. Thank you for watching the World History Channel.